Um, well, in order to understand ubiquitous learning, I think we have to take a step back and ask what's ubiquitous technology, uh, which is a, a more common term. Uh, and I think it has a couple of different dimensions. Today, I think it means portable devices, handheld devices, uh, smartphones, uh, tablets, other kinds of things that people carry with them all the time. Uh, even even uh, laptop computers are portable devices. Um, so one piece is the portability or the mobility of the technology itself. The other piece is the perva increasing pervasiveness of wireless connectivity so that you can be linked to the internet and to other computers uh, and other computer users more or less continually no matter where you are. You don't have to be at a desk with a computer plugged into the wall to use, to use these technologies anymore. So, so ubiquitous learning um, is making the learning process more of a sort of spatially and temporal, dis temporally distributed experience. Um, and not just bounded by those specific places mm -hmm. and times that we say, now we're learning, now it's school, now we're studying, now we're, you know, it's something which is at least potentially always present to us. Um, there are a lot of implications of ubiquitous learning uh, in terms of how we learn and why we learn, um, where we learn, of course, where we learn, but also, I think, how we learn. Uh, and I think these changes are also happening at the same time that sort of general Web 2.0 changes are happening that in generally makes learning a more collaborative and distributive process as well. And